I am going to burn through this. You're going to have to pause the video, take notes, ask to use your phone and record notes that you can transcribe later. However you want to do it, I want you to understand how to to present your work, how to use some strategies and follow complex instructions, breaking them down into pieces that you can understand. Do you get that? Okay, here we go. I'm going to hit F to get out of full screen mode. I'm going to hit F again to get out of that um, little tab. And then this is the final product. I'm going to go File, Revert, which means take me back to the last saved state. This is the picture that I put up on one of the week's posts. It's four separate images on four separate layers that I have you know, organized in this way to present it. But I was looking at this and thinking, hey, it'd be cool if I taught these kids how to do, you know, a stroke around this and change the background color and the size of the canvas and all the rest of this. So I know these things are 1400 pixels square, but how can you know what size they are? Well, I'm going to come over here and hold down the command key and click on the icon that selects that. I'm going to hit command C and command N. I have to be on the layer <laughs> that I'm on, Command C, Command N, Photoshop says, hey, do you want it the size of the clipboard? That's 1440 pixels square. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. If that's 1440 and that's 1440, that's 2880. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. Option Command I for the image size. How big is this image? 2950. 2950. What was this? 1440? 1440? 2880? 2950 minus 2880, do some second, seventh grade math, and or second grade math, it says 70 is the answer. I'm going to escape. So there's 70 pixels here, 2950 total. Was that right? 2950? I should have been writing it down. 2950. So I want to add 70 top and bottom. That's 140. 2950 plus 140. That's 3090. I'm going to hold up the get the canvas size dialog box, change the inches to pixels, and I wanted to take this up to 3090. That's 140 pixels larger than that. 3090, tab 3090, and click OK or hit return. Now we've got this thing larger. I want the background to be a different color, black. Right now I have colors over here. If I hit D for the default colors, then I know this is Option Delete, Command Delete, foreground color, background color. Option Delete fills with the background color. Command Delete fills with the foreground color. I want that filled with black. And then I want to stroke all of these with a white stroke. Now I've set up a custom keyboard shortcut and I will show you how to do this in another quest, but I want to work smart and I want to be able to select this, but select this and this and this and this so I can stroke them all at once and not have to do it four times. You know if I command click, I, I select an object, but if I hold down shift, if I hold down command and shift and then click, 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 I select all four, use my handy dandy stroke uh, shortcut, come up here, change this to white. I want this outside, not inside or on the center. And let's say four pixels. Click OK, hit return, command D to deselect, hit the letter F to get into full screen mode. And there is my presentation. You guys have to learn how, and then I can save this thing for the web. And what size do I want it? What's the maximum size I want this thing on the web? 1500 pixels, right? And then hit tab. Now this is resized. It's 1500 pixels square. Now I can load this thing on the internet as a JPEG. You got it? That's working smart. I want you guys to replay this video, be able to reproduce it. And I know I said if you were in the function or form guild, you didn't have to do this. Surprise, you have to do this. Now you got to watch this again. Now you have to go back and take notes. And you have to post this on your week 16 blog, or you can be hunted for it next Monday. Yeah, yeah, I said function or form guild. I meant function or motion. Everybody is required to have a 1500 pixel version of this on their website. I want you guys to understand what it's like to complete a project like this. And you should be presenting your work more elegantly, no matter what guild you're in. Here we are in the Mac Lab live between periods two and three. 
where I have to cover a couple mistakes. Number one, about the 250 mark, I wrote it down, but I did say um, option delete fills with the background color and command delete fills with the foreground colors. As I filled the colors, that of course is backwards. Um, but once I selected these items and applied the stroke, what I did not do, and this is huge, what I did not do is go to the uppermost layer and add a new layer. If you want to know the keyboard shortcut, there it is for new layer. But the idea that you apply strokes on their own layers is critical. Okay, so I'm going to swap these two colors out, then apply the stroke. And I didn't tell you guys that stroke is under edit. Stroke is where you find that. Command D to deselect, and that's your final product so that you can delete these, you can change the color, you can edit these infinitely, but if you do it on any of these other layers, bad news.